If you want to fly better and faster with the Tiny Whoop, I have something for you. It's called the Beta FPV R65 and boy, it does make a difference. Why? You will know if you watch until the end. From the outside, the Beta FPV Air 65 looks like any other tiny whoops. Four motors, tiny ducted propellers, camera on top and the one as battery on the bottom. Nothing really special, okay? Maybe the camera mount is slightly unorthodox, but that's just a style. But there are a few key differences between the Air 65 and its older sibling, the Meteor 65 series. First of all, the R65 ditches the old flight controller Beta FPV was using for years. It's no longer F411 based, instead is the STM32 G473. Yes, finally a G4 flight controller available in the scale. What do we get from the fact that this is G4, not the F411? Well, the biggest difference is the number of the available serial ports. F411 ones have only two serial ports. G4s have four. Of course, it doesn't mean that every flight controller equipped with the G4 will have all four serial ports broken out, but the hardware at least now supports it. Only two serial ports on F411s are really an issue. G4 solves that. The Express LRS receiver is no longer a part of the all-in-one flight controller. Now, the Express LRS is soldered as the separate board on the top of the flight controller with normal wires. They got rid of the integrated Express LRS receiver, but instead they moved the analog VTX to the all-in-one. Previous generation had the VTX as the separate board and the Express LRS integrated. This one swaps things around. Camera, however, is absolutely standard C03 camera. Beta FPV is used using four years, small, teeny, tiny camera, everything works, everything is fine. Air 65 comes in two flavors, racing and freestyle. Freestyle on the tiny whoop, okay, if you really want to, but the difference between the freestyle and the racing are the motors. In both cases, this is the 0702 brushless motors, and the difference between the racing and the freestyle is just the KV of the setup. By comparison, the Meteor 65 series was equipped with 0802, so they downscaled the motors. And the results? Oh boy, I'm not really that skilled Tiny Whoop pilot. I admit that my only attempt in racing with the Tiny Whoops was a complete disaster. I even failed to complete one loop of the circuit. But with Air 65, man, this thing flies great. I thought my Meteor 65 is fast and nimble. But when I switched to Air 65, I do have to admit, this thing is much more controllable in the air. This thing takes turns much better with much more control and the grip in the place. And it's all thanks to exactly one. Okay, maybe one and a half new changes. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Why the Air 65 is so much better than the previous generations of the Beta FPV Tiny Whoop? It's the weight. They made Air 65 25% lighter than the Meteor 65. Guys, 25 bloody percent. And you feel those 25% when making a tight turn. Inertia? Come on, well, there is almost no inertia. It just keeps the line. Every turn can be faster, tighter and with better control. And even a complete noob tiny whoop pilot can feel the difference. I bloody feel the difference. It's not skidding out and it keeps the line like crazy. Time for some numbers. Meteor 65 comes at around 32 grams ready to fly with the standard 300 milliamp battery. The Air 65 ready to fly, it's only 24 grams with the new 
200-600 mAh battery. Somehow they managed to shave 8 grams. One gram comes from the lighter battery, but remaining 7 grams, the just whole drone is lighter by the 7 grams. That's really amazing engineering. However, every major change like that is a compromise and they had to compromise something. In this case, the compromise is the ease to use and the general availability of the USB port. The previous generation, the Meteor 65, just has the normal micro USB connector. With the Air 65, it's no longer the case. You have to have a special adapter from the JST to USB-C. And of course, if you lose the adapter, well, you can no longer connect to the flight controller. However, this is the tiny whoop. Most probably once you set it up, you do not really have to change it that often. So let's say you can keep the connector somewhere safe remember not to lose it and you will be fine yes sure the frame is also lighter and most probably less durable but also because of the lower weight of the whole drone the forces during the crash are smaller and even though i crashed the r65 already a few times well it's still intact everything is fine low weight low inertia, low forces, so most probably it will be okay. And if it won't be okay, you can always buy the replacement frames. Bottom line, it's the amazing ultralight tiny whoop that takes the huge step forward in terms of the racing with tiny whoops performance. Meteor 65, uh-uh. Air 65, aha. Uh -huh. Thanks to much lower weight and the Betaflight 4.5 on this thing, it just flies better. I have a feeling next Whoop racing season, a lot of pilots will migrate from the Meteor 65 to Air 65 because bloody hell, this thing makes a difference. Here's the next video you should watch. This was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!